I'm sorry, we got a shiny comeback and an EXO comeback. This is a second gen's eating good tonight. Hi, I'm D-Dog. Uh, in my class, I play music videos, and I also react to them on my channel. This is the feeling, a comeback by shiny. Now, is this their full comeback or like a like a B-side type thing? Because I think they're still doing teasers for another song. So I think that if this isn't their full comeback, I, it might be the next one. I'm not sure. Someone comment below and tell me, because I always get confused by release schedules. I'm just going to hop right into this. We know how much I love shiny because we know how much I love Taman and uh, look it, it, he's my all-time favorite and also we just had that fucking just song of the year the circle by Onu we just had that come in like there's a bunch of shit that we have that the, shiny just produces hit after hit and so I'm really excited to see what we have here this is the feeling if you like this video at any point in time click like my name is feel good about myself give me something great to listen to Oh no, yes. I did. I agree. That's probably him. He? Okay. Well, maybe that's not him. I don't know. I can't tell from the back of the head. <laughs> and? Ooh. Yeah, this is for a 50, the 15th anniversary for Shiny World, so this isn't their full comeback, I believe. I could be wrong. Oh man, I love him so much. Oh man, dude, your voice is so fucking good. Those classic second gen melodies where you have everybody singing together, fucking great. You don't get enough of that. Oh, what a fucking jam though. What a horn though, hello. the cat. It's a secret fifth member, or sixth member, technically. I love how much the, 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 what you what am I trying to say? Shit. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll listen to the, I'll talk more during the second listen. For Mm. Dude, I love all their fucking voices so much. I mean, Taman holds a special place in my heart, but still. I love how much movement the chorus has. I love the horn that's in it, too. Dude, I love their outfits. I love that. I'm just having a nice vibe right here. His voice is so unique. We talked about that during a circle. That shit. Hi. So good. So good. Oh man, I love that Onu's going his own little thing. Great fucking high note. All the things. All the things are so good. Oh, there's my band, though. Don't forget, if we hit a thousand subscribers, I have a whole Taman special that's going to come out. What a great song. 
It's so happy. I mean, it's raining litter, so that's probably not the best thing, but still. It's very happy. Yeah, so my guess is like, because they have an actual... They have an actual eighth, like, like, yeah, they have an actual album that's coming out and they'll have their own, like, uh, comeback for that. But what a great, like, I'm going to guess like a B-side type thing or something. I don't look, I have always been terrible when it comes to these, uh, these comebacks and like how they're structured and whatnot. But I feel like they have an actual main song comeback. At some point, I think. They're still releasing teasers. They have to. Look, we'll talk about this song, and then we'll talk more about that during after time. I love it. I love the movement that's during a lot of the, this. I love Onu's voice. Man, what a great... Ever since freaking... Uh, ever since Circle, and I've been listening to more of his songs, he's just got such a unique voice. I am slow... He's definitely... Look, no one can topple Taman. I'm telling you that right now. He's my favorite. But Onu, damn, is close to that. I love his... Like, the, the timbre in his voice. It's so good. Um, But besides that... I mean, this song's good. It's It's got lovely little, like... How do I explain it? There's not a lot for me to talk about instrumental. I just want to say that I like the song. That's really... And that's all I got to. Like, it showcases their vocals enough... What a great, like, I love that they're together on the melody on, like, this part and whatnot, because you don't get a lot of that during uh, most new songs and stuff when it comes to newer groups and everything, just because it's a different vibe. And second gen just hits different. I'm sorry, it just does. I have a personal bias. I am going to be aware of that bias. But it's still a really good bias to have. I like, oh, man, they're so good. I love this horn as well. So my assumption is that they'll have an actual like comeback song that isn't a part of their anniversary stuff because this is probably just an anniversary song if i had to guess that's what i'm gonna go with and you can yell at me in the comments if you don't if if i'm wrong but besides that i don't have much else to say about any of this because i don't have much to say about the the instrumental it's just a solid pop song it's solid it's, it's solid fun and it's got a good horn in it and like you know their vo oh, their vocals are fucking on point all the time there's not much else for me to say so unfortunately, I probably won't be that exaggerated in my expressions and whatnot until the new, whatever song they've been teasing comes out. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just for the album. I don't know. We're going to figure that out in time. But for now, it's outro time. If you like this video at any point in time, click the like button. I feel good about myself. Comment. How do you feel about this feel? It? What? No. How do you feel about the song and about like just who's your favorite member? I'd love to know. Whose bias do you have? And then lastly, um subscribe we're on the road to a thousand when i hit a thousand i have a full a big old thing it's a big old video it's about a half an hour long but it goes over every single taman song that's ever been recorded ever that i can could find so it's a very fun little deep dive into taman that i really enjoy now i need to leave i've got more things to record goodbye everybody